Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how you can hide the status bar on your iPhone. At first, what is the status bar? In case somebody doesn't know what I mean or what I refer to, the status bar are the icons at the top of the screen right here. So you can see the battery icon, Wi-Fi signal, the cellular signal, you can see some fo focus mode for work and a time as well. In case you want to hide that, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. There are only unofficial ways how you can do it, but there are some. So if you open up the settings and go to the main section right here, I want you to then scroll down and click on accessibility. It is right here with the blue icon. So tap on accessibility, get inside and then scroll all the way to the bottom. At the bottom right there, you can see the thing called per app settings. So if you click on that, a bunch of things, at least one of them is gonna show up. So it is the add app. So tap on add app and click on home screen. So yeah, once you have the home screen here, part as part of the list, just click on it to reveal more options. And now if you scroll a bit more, you can see smart invert. You don't have to like really be worried about that too much, but in case you wanna quickly hide the status bar, just enable the smart invert. You can see that the status bar simply disappeared and it means that it's barely visible. If you would zoom in, you would see that it is there technically, but it's in a white inverted color. And that means that it's hard to read and it doesn't have any contrast. So technically it is hidden from the site. Keep in mind that we have inverted the home screen because we changed it for the home screen. So if you're inside an app like settings, you don't see the status bar. However, if I come back to the home screen, you can see that every single thing like my wallpaper is inverted and my status bar is visible right there. So I didn't do much. However, this applies to using an app. So if you, for example, just open up the app store, you're gonna notice again that the status bar is simply not there. So in case you wanna do some kind of quick video recording or screen recording if you in case you want to like take a screenshot and you don't want to see or show the time directly then this is what you can enable however it is not an official feature this is not what the smart invert is really used for but it works technically as you can see right here i'm just showing you what is possible i would like to get more options but this is the only thing that is currently available so if I turn it off like this, if I delete any kind of accessibility for the home screen, I'm going to show you one more option, which is even less useful, but it technically works as well. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. You know, there's the zoom feature on an iPhone. If you just double tap with three fingers, I'm going to get inside. However, I have to have it enabled that. So for me, if you go to the accessibility, go to the zoom, enable it like this. And now you can double tap with three fingers and zoom back and forth. So if I just zoom ever so slightly, and now I could zoom it in just a little bit, and you can see that the status bar at the top simply went away. I know it's not a usable state of the phone because everything is just zoomed in, but since the status bar is always at the top, at the edge, if you just zoom it in just a bit, you can just push it out, out of the edge, out of the frame. So that's how it works. It's another workaround, which I don't consider to be very useful, but you can do it technically that way as well. So that's about it. That's everything what I wanted to explain to you. If you like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel because you don't want to miss another video where you learn a bunch of different stuff about your iPhone so you can use it in the best possible way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.